Yeah, well, um, just me chiming in really quickly on uh, Libya. So it looks like Gaddafi's gone. It looks like um, there's little ref left of the regime, and hopefully the fighting in Tripoli will cease over the next um, few days. And I guess the question is, uh, is what happened a good thing, and is how it came about a good thing? And at the beginning of this conflict, I said that I supported NATO intervention, uh, conditional NATO intervention, and I pretty much stand by that. Um, and I consider what has happened overall a success and one of the better chapters in the history of NATO. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot left in terms of how the how uh, Libya is going to wind up, um, who's going to take over power. It c obviously, it could always be another dictator, um, and it could be someone as bad or worse as Gaddafi. But that is always a risk um, when you depose a dictator. I mean, it's not really an argument to say we can't depose him because someone else might uh, come by and become dictator. I think... Um, considering that a lot of people there, that seems to be what they wanted. I think it was um, a good thing. Uh, as for NATO intervention, I had problems with it. Um, so obviously we don't under know how much co covert stuff was going on that could uh, possibly have some nasty implications. As far as the airstrikes and the... Uh, um, the um, destruction of the Gaddafi Air Force and tanks goes. I, I mean, I supported, I supported it back then. There's simply no uh, good way that rebels without ser serious support from some remnants of the army, and that was never likely to happen in Libya because uh, a large part of the army was loyal to Gaddafi because they were um, they were basically profiting a lot of the regime, and another part were mercenaries. Um, so for rebels with small arms to defeat tanks and airplanes, um, it's not really going to happen. Um, which is also my argument for why the entire idea of we need to have small arms to protect ourselves against the government um, doesn't work because. They won't protect you against the government. Um, so unless there is some kind of reason for the military to crack, in such a situation, the military will just uh, crush any civilian resistance or the rebel resistance. Um, and that's been shown often in history. So I supported destroying Gaddafi's uh, heavy weapons. As for the bombardment of palaces and other semi-civilian infrastructure, I think that was a mistake. I don't approve of that. And I think, like usual, um, NATO didn't come out of it looking uh, as good as they could have. But all things considered, I think that Libya was um, a positive. Um, and, I mean, the, the problem... I have with a lot of detractors from the Libya intervention is I haven't heard an alternative at all to what should have happened. I mean, I hear a lot about how NATO is bad. I kind of agree. It usually is. Um, and I hear a lot about how foreign interests are going to go and try to get Gaddafi's oil. Um, well, that was already happening anyways. Before it was in the hands of a dictator. So hopefully now it'll be in the hands of a less corrupt uh, regime. But it's certainly when it was in the hands of Gaddafi, people were wrestling for control of the oil behind the scenes. Um, and I don't know, there's this idea that somehow if we just prop them up with enough well wishes, they would have... Uh, they would have managed to have like an Egyptian style revolution. The only problem was in Egypt, there were a lot of sympathies in the conscript military for the protesters. In Libya, uh, there were 
they probably wouldn't have been that effect at all because uh, Gaddafi chose his army wisely and they weren't just conscripts from all over the country that would have betrayed him. Um, so, I mean, I guess um, some people suggest that we should just keep our hands out of it because then I guess we, we can't be blamed for anything. But I, I find that, I mean, if you... If if you s support non-intervention and you still think that would have been the right thing to do, I th I think then it's uh, your kind of ethical responsibility to explain how the outcome would have been better for the Libyan people. Um, and if you can't do that, if you can't provide that counter argument, then. Th Anything you say regarding, well, it could have run better, well, there might have been ulterior motives, which surely there were. There always are in international politics. Um, I, j I just don't see the honest point in them. Um, but I really do hope that as part of the Arab Spring, the Libyan people can make something of... Uh, their new go at having a decent government. Um, the last revolution obviously was Gaddafi's revolution in the end and it didn't turn out so well. Um, but hopefully this time around they will get support from the international community, hopefully, and hopefully um, all of the countries that in the region that are under new management can kind of come to each other's aid and help I uh, keep each other honest. I hope so. I'll see you guys all later.